We'll do it this way. Old school. Old school. What's up, sons? Happy Pokemon Day. It's Blind Rod with Son of Attack once again. Today, we're going to be talking about NVIDIA drivers and whether or not they have nerfed mining Ethereum specifically. But before we do that, here's a word from our sponsor. The following is a paid advertisement. Prime XBT is an established trading platform that was founded in 2018 and remained in business through the bear market. From my personal research, there are three main reasons they set themselves apart from other trading platforms. High leverage, low fees, and most importantly, privacy. Prime XBT requires no user information to start trading. The newest module called Covesting allows users to copy the trading activity of other users. Remember, any form of investing comes with significant risks, so do your own research. Use promo code SONOFATECH at sign up for a 50% bonus. All right, make sure you guys hit the affiliate link down below and use the referral code son of tech and get your 50% sign in bonus. So in the comments, I noticed that a lot of people were saying the latest Nvidia drivers are nerfing their hash rate. And so I decided to go through and test it and figure out if that was true or not true. And we have basically found the short of it is that it's not true. What's even more impressive though, or interesting is that I'm seeing an improvement at least at stock speeds for hash rate on the latest NVIDIA drivers, both the studio driver as well as the game ready driver. So if you guys are having issues, it's most likely due to some other factor, whether that's overheating or a bad overclock you should take a look at one of those. So to start things off, we had driver 461.40. It was specifically the studio driver, and we ran that on an RTX 3090, and the reported hash rate was between 88 mega hash and 90 mega hash a second at stock clocks. And then we went ahead and cleaned the system off, installed the studio driver for 461.71, and we ran the miner again, and we're using Phoenix Miner 5.5C here, and we got a hash rate of 109 mega hash a second at stock clocks. Also, the fans seem to spin up a little bit faster, so it does appear that the fan curves are improved as well on the latest driver, if you were curious. And then I wanted to see if maybe it was actually the game day ready driver that was causing a low hash rate because it would kind of make sense. Then also I could kind of whittle it down and say, hey, the game day ready driver is bad, but you know, the studio driver is, is good. So we cleaned off the system again and we installed the game day ready driver from Nvidia, ran it and got once again 109 mega hash a second with an RTX 3090 at stock clocks. So at this particular time, you don't need to worry. It does appear that the latest driver from Nvidia isn't nerfing any hash rate and you don't need to roll back to like a 461.40. I will keep you guys up to date as far as drivers and I will test every single new one. So come back and check the channel if you are curious if you should update to the latest driver or not for mining. And what I can tell you guys today is you are good to go for upgrading to 461.71 on your NVIDIA rigs and still mine Ethereum at full speed. And in fact, it's looking like if you're just running at stock clocks at least, that you are getting an improvement in hash rate as well. I do wanna go through and test these drivers in some games and this is also my rendering rig. So I'm gonna go through and see if we got any improvement with the studio driver on of course Adobe Premiere, right? As I edit this video. I also wanted to give a huge shout out to the mining community and for all y'all's support, especially on all of these calls regarding EIP 1559. I'm hoping we'll get some clarification on all of that. I know that Fitz is going to be talking to Micah tonight, who is going to explain further minor extracted value, which is short or basically MEV, and get some better ideas on how that is going to help, uh, I guess, compensate miners in particular after the implementation of 1559. And of course, we're gonna have to stay really, really close with the mining pools and so on to see where we're at. So once again, you're good to go if you want to update to NVIDIA driver 461.71 and at least 
You don't have to worry about a reduced hash rate on Ethereum quite yet, but make sure that you just always keep an old driver laying around just in case you accidentally update and that hash rate tanks. Once again, if you're having issues with your hash rate currently, you may wanna look into other problems with your graphics card, including your thermal pads, as well as your overclocks, which we have covered on this channel previously before. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next Tuesday. Also, if you don't know what that means, Google it. Also, I make videos every day. <laughs>